All right, so about uh, six, seven, eight hours worth of uh, grinding and breathing dust. And boy, this is a big project. Oh, here we are. So I did take the uh, upper end of the firewall there all the way down just because uh, I want it to be nice and smooth because that spot will actually be seen when the hood is open. The rest of it, well, it's all going to be seen too, but getting there, kind of went over everything, did some spots I couldn't reach before with the electric, so I was able to get the back sides of the towers. Still need to pull that steering box out. Might do that tonight. I want to figure out how to get these lines out. So I can take those grommets out. Probably drop the sway bar down. Take the steering off. Oh, I got some work to do still. But yeah, uh, just been going over spots. You can see I've been hitting those cross members. Trying to get all that. Those are real rusty, but still good to go. So, come on, focus. There she goes. She's getting there. Slowly, slowly getting there. I was hitting those guys with the uh, electric drill, trying to knock off some of the rust, the heavy stuff, but doesn't seem to make any difference whether I use that or the uh, Scotch Brite. But <clears throat> discs, but the air tools are much nicer to use and seem to work better. Couple problems I'm running into though would be walk over here. Compressor's working great. It's uh definitely got a workout today. She was on a lot. I tried to give her breaks so she wasn't constantly running, but not too bad. Let's see, I just kind of bled her down to about 75 psi, just blowing out the garage here. That thing there does not take any water out of the lines. So I still need to get a uh, water separator. That little tidbit on the box about clean dry air was bullshit. So everything else seemed to work though. But yeah, my little uh, this guy here is just chooching out water. And then of course it would start freezing up in there, so it would start blocking airflow, slow down, and spit out ice, and then it would speed up. So. But other than that, it's it's working good. And what else did I have? Seems like I had another problem, but can't think of it right now. Did find lots of little dents and bends and tweaks in the metal. I mean, it's, you see where there's still paint? Those are actually low spots. Obviously, that one's all mangled. So that's okay. You see that area is all mangled. It's okay. As long as it's, as long as the body's straight, we'll be good. But still got lots more work to do. Like I said, I got to remove all that stuff out of there so I can finish that firewall. A little grommet there I need to take out. Figure how to get that brake line out of there because it goes and then dives underneath the car and goes who knows how far back. But. And last night I did order uh, paint, paint for this bad boy here, yeah, yeah, ordered some paint up for her, and uh, redo it. Last night I ordered uh, paint, everything I need for the engine compartment, that's a cool shot isn't it, yeah. So, uh, she should be coming in, who knows how long, a week or two. I went with Pour 15. I've used that stuff before, and I've been pretty, uh, pretty pleased with the results. And then I got a buddy who used a, a bunch of it, too, on a whole, uh, whole frame, and I ended up using it on a 51 Ford that I had a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, the only thing is that, you know, it doesn't like the UV light and all that stuff, but... I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to pour 15 the entire engine compartment. And then I'm going to top coat it with their, uh, what do they call it, chassis black. The semi-gloss stuff. So it won't be so shiny and it'll have the UV protection that it needs. So 
I was kind of thinking about doing, uh, uh, Eastwood has their own brand of rust paints and stuff like that, but I think I'm going to stick with Pour 15 on this one, just because I've used it before and I like it. Their process is a little messier. i got to use their degreaser and i got to use their uh, Metal Ready, which, uh, well, you know, it's just all the steps you got to do. So that's their system. I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, I'm thinking next week, if I have the weekend off, or hopefully this week, if I can get some time, I will be earning more, and I want to get it all ready for sandblasting, and then I can clean it and then paint it. So I'm probably still a few weeks away, but just a little bit at a time, doing what I can. Other than that, I'm hungry. Ordered up some parts for this bad boy right here. I ordered the uh, old son of a gun. Oh, it's not there. Right here is their, uh, what do they call it? Not a coil. Armature? No. You get the idea. The part that makes the ignition go snap and crackle pop. And uh, I ordered the Briggs and Stratton tune up kit for this engine as well. So that's got a spark plug, air filter, oil. All that stuff, because I've never done any maintenance to this thing since I bought it, so I'm sure it needs it. 